Former Kiwi, former Samoa representative Jerry Siusi, who joins us this morning. Good morning, Jerry. Hey, Milo, Talo for Asila, um, Bjorn. Um, no, it's great to be here, and um, thanks for having me. Um, Jerry, you're still working with the Warriors uh, currently. How much uh, well being management are they going to need after being absolutely robbed over the weekend? Yeah, well, so they say. Or are you not allowed to talk about any of that? Well, um, yeah, I see our, 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 our sponsor, sponsor. <laughs> the CEO's come out. So obviously, um, might, might be busy over the coming week in terms yeah. of well being and yeah. well being support. Um, you, don't, you don't get to travel with the boys as much these days? Not these days. And I prefer it that way. I'm, I'm uh, at a stage where I got two grandsons and I just love playing with them. So um, it's good to be home. Yeah. Mm. Right. Tell us about Match Fit. So, yeah. it, I mean, I know you can't give too many details away about the transformation that happens, right? Because you and some other former players and they get together and a uh, bit of work to do, maybe. How, no, um, how shocking was it when you first um, go through, like, the initiation thing where you get your, your kind of where you're at report and they tell you how you, where your age has got to in terms yeah. of your health? No, no, that's right. If you've been following it, we uh, we do that test and and um, they give you your uh, metabolic age. And uh, my first one was was 64. And uh, I thought, wow, that's crazy. Um, is that based on what? Is it based on body fat percentage? What's it? What's all it I know, Sheila, is you jump on this machine and you <laughs> rotate around like a rotisserie. I saw that. And then, I saw that. And, and then, then it comes always, up with a number, yeah, right? Infrareds are measuring fat and stuff. And I, I just trust that you know, the AI is all in order and um, what they're spitting out is truth. But, um, it only yeah. works, too, if you're in your undies. It doesn't work My, you know, beyond, I tell you, that was probably the, you know, you, you think about going on the show, you see the rugby guys doing, and then, they, then you say, oh, you, you got to be in your undies and get weight and that, ooh. <laughs> but, but fuck a man when it comes to that kind Sorry, of stuff. Mate, you could have at least wore the briefs, man. I know, the boys are saying, they got me, they got me good, <laughs> they, got they were good like, we're all in our speedos, and then next yeah. minute, yeah, <laughs> budgie smugglers, oh, uh, like, got me. So what about that, that, that confrontation, because you're right, you, you stand on the machine, I saw it when I was watching the first episode, you get spun around, and then it comes out, it spits out an age where, basically, where your body's at. Mm. You mind sharing what, where your body was at? Because you're, you're a young bug, dude. Yeah, no, so, like, I'm 48, um, but... Yeah, the, the thing said I was 64, so, wow. um, you know, that's a big difference. And so I realised, man, I, I need to look after the body better, uh, look after what God gave me. So, um, so you know, so that was confronting, and um, and I knew there was some work to do. Um, you know, part of jumping on the show was was telling the story and going through the journey. We saw the rugby guys do it in the first two series, so uh, we thought, why not, for the rugby league community and, and for the Pacifica community at large, especially um, males, we knew. And then we were demonstrating the fact that, hey, we're, we're probably not in our prime condition and we need to do something about it. How much reaction have you seen from that, from um, people you heard heard from people inspired by it? Man, it's been crazy, yeah. Um, um, although I don't don't usually enjoy getting stopped at the petrol station. Um, <laughs> I'm just glad it's not, hey, you haven't paid or the card has declined. No, it's, um, but, you know, people just rocking up and saying, hey, we're inspired by the journey. It's a big guys too, eh? At times I'm thinking, oh, here's the bouncer that, uh, no. Um, so, you know, these guys that really enjoy the journey and, and feel inspired, and, and that was probably the, one of the bigger reasons for doing it. And, and um, you know, in a sense, becoming vulnerable ourselves and telling the story. I like that, the vulnerability. So do you put your hand up to be a part of this or do they force you to the room and say, you need to jump on, Jerry? No, well, it was a bit of, you know, peer pressure, but at this, no, in a good way. And then um, it was just a bunch of guys that were doing it. Um, yep. I think Shantane Happy was ringing around at the time and we kind of all played together. At first I was like, hell no, I'm not going on <laughs> there. We're in me undies. But then, you know, when we uh, discussed, you know, the impact it could have, we thought, well, yeah, why not? And... Um, yeah, and so yeah, no, it was a cool, cool time with the boys. So probably too much banter, um, you know. We were teasing <laughs> Clinton. each other. Clinton, Clinton, yep. yeah. Because uh, yeah. I reckon there's about four days in each episode, and just constant like um, teasing each way well, in a good way, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and having a bit of fun. So yeah, it was yeah. it was a good journey. So the the show's screening now, but obviously you filmed it a while ago. How um, you know when you're in the zone of you know they've got all the workouts you're doing and they're doing the food and you're in a group and you're all doing it together. Once that kind of wraps up, and I imagine you saw some pretty cool results in that, which we'll see as the episodes come out. How hard is it after that when um, you don't have that group mentality of everyone doing it together and it's kind of like you go back to your, your normal life, your day-to-day? Mm. -day. How hard is it to sort of keep the, the things that you put in place? I think that's been one of the cool things is that um, the boys have stayed connected uh, and... Some of them are still throwing out workouts. Uh, to be fair, I'm not doing all of them, but uh, there's, you know, it's there's nice a to read about yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, they said 100 reps. I'm like, oh, I'll go with 50. Yeah. You know, so, but uh, this has been the cool part is just reconnecting and for our peer group, but also to encourage other guys in our peer group. Uh, 
you know, around our same uh, age and whatnot uh, to jump on the journey. And we've had some cool feedback from them. So, and that's what it's about. Eh? It's about building community and and, um, and looking after one another. There was a lot of vulnerability shown on the show, which you've already spoken about, mm. Jerry. Did you, um, with, I mean, Jaime broke down a lot on there. I mean, I think it was pretty raw for him. Did you expect a lot of that? Before you went on? See, like, I tell you what, man, there was a lot of crying. And yeah. uh, it's not my That's thing, good. you know. I'm not, like, partial to crying, but then I found myself crying. So it was like that. You know, the boys got raw with their stories and you felt the connection and then, and then you know, trying to be a hard man. But, you know, it, it's... Yeah, I found that I got some cool tear ducts that work really well. <laughs> and um, yeah. and that's important too, eh, to, to share one another's story and, and be there for one another. Now, uh, I noticed that on the program, uh, you wore this T-shirt often. And it was um, a reference to a, there was a scripture on the bottom of it. it said, I think it was 1 Corinthians, was yeah. it 33? 10, 31, you know, okay. you know, whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. And um, myself, part of a church community that just loves what Jesus did for us. And so just try and live every moment for his glory, um, including eating. No. And so I'm trying to do less of that. And, and no, it was just about the whole attitude to the program. Um was just to give my best and everything that I, I did, and, and then hopefully, you know, the Lord's glorified in the process. Faith was a major part in, in your journey? Oh, for me, yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, another reason why you, you jump on, uh, the opportunity come up and said, hey, why not, why not jump into it and try and make a difference? Um, uh, Faith's, um, yeah, in, in terms of that whole, um, you know, uh, it was an opportunity. I felt that maybe mm. God wanted us to step into, and so we did it and uh, enjoyed it. And there's a few of us that actually got to chat about our faith journey on, on the program and, oh, nice. and inspire each other. So, no, it was, was, was a good time. Very, very good. Well, Jerry, thanks for coming in, bro. I uh, appreciate what you've done for other people, especially as you pointed out straight at the top, Māori and Pacific, because, you know, I think it's important that as men we need to open up a little bit more. And I think you guys, what you've done in the past is just uh, – have just been role models for everyone else, bro. So I appreciate you, man. No, no, thanks for having me on the show. And you're right, you know, Māori Pacific community. Um, I was just glad that we could make a difference. Where can people watch it if they need a tune in? Well, there's free now if you want to catch up on the past episodes, actually, or TV free, because uh, that's where all my family is on a Wednesday night. When does it finish? Um, I think there's two more episodes. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah. And, and you so play the kangaroos at the very end? We do. We play the Australian team, and it's yeah. a stacked team too. Like, you know, they took off yep. their shirts after. And <laughs> like, fair to say, you know, we had a KFC pack. There were six packs and eight packs and 12 packs all over the place. So, um, But it was it was a good game, actually. You've got the ultimate quarter pack <laughs> sitting in the room. <laughs> so that's this Wednesday on 3 or 3 now. Thanks, Jerry. Appreciate you, brother.